I'm pleased to announce the results of uh, Ansys Limited. We have managed to reduce our losses from where we started down by 95%. The basic losses can move down, down by 95%. We've also managed to come up with a beautiful order book. The last time we reported, we were sitting at 190 million, and we've moved the business now to 400 million in terms of the order book. So as a company, we're on a very good footing. EBITDA has also grown up by 165%. And all this came about because we had restructured our business in the past two and a half years to try and position it better for the markets. And our approach was very simple, like anybody would do. We looked at the markets that want to play, and we chose our markets very carefully. The next thing we did was to find out how to win in those markets, and then that informed us in terms of how we had to design our business. As you may recall, in case you're aware of our business, our business was generally a very lumpy business looking at big projects that we worked on. But the problem with the big projects, when they come, it's good. When they go, it is bad. So we had to restructure our business in such a manner that we're not reliant on the big projects, but we're also reliant on the small projects, which gave us now a much smoother revenue stream uh, going forward. We also had to reduce our cost. Uh, we had to remodeling our business. We managed to reduce our cost by uh, 17%. Looking forward, the market looks very good for us in most of our market segments. Telecommunications is one of those markets that's growing pretty fast at the moment. If you look at the fiber to the home or fiber to the X rollout that's happening, this is going to continue for probably another five to seven years because of the low levels of penetration of fiber rollout. Also, bandwidth is something that people need because there's huge demand for uh, services, whether smartphones or otherwise. Most of those are beginning to peak. However, when it comes to usage of the network, what the operators are looking for now is to extract more value through machine to machine and the Internet of Things. Now, ANSYS is a technology company. We develop, design, and produce our own technology and we own the IP, and that helps us to develop new, new products that will work on the machine machine or the Internet of Things. In the realist sector, this is where South Africa is an area where railways is happening pretty big. Transnet uh, owns about 80% of the revenue of what happens in railways on the African continent, and worldwide, most of the projects are actually happening within the Transnet division. We have both trackside measurement uh, products. We also have products that help us on the uh, onboard systems that we, we were deploying. And that market is continues to grow. We don't see the rollout uh, diminishing now. 300 billion is what Transnet has to spend in that rollout, and it's going to take a number of years before it comes out. And that augurs well for our business. Our defense business is also beginning to pick up quite nicely. Uh, our major customer, Danel, is sitting on 31 billion rands of uh, orders, which they need to execute. And most of these need to be executed in March for the period, for three to four, five year execution period. Danel would require companies such as ours to help them manage the execution risk, and we're well positioned uh, for that. The recent defense review suggests that South Africa's defense uh, needs to be improved tremendously. We have to arrest the decline that has happened over the number of years with lack of investment. And now what we're seeing is that the defense review is saying that expenditure in the sector should grow from 1.2% of GDP to about 2.8% of GDP. That will move defense expenditure from uh, low 40 billion to about 88 billion per, per annum. And our business is well posed for that area. Mining, although those sluggish at the moment in terms of the products that we supply mining, they improve productivity and they also improve the safety, which is needed at any level, particularly with mines that are doing well, they want to improve their productivity. Looking for the near future, we believe that the business has, uh, has changed. We have put it on a good footing and we think that we'll be able to finish the year on a profitable note. And this, in our view, is going to help us proceed into the uh, future as a business that is successful.